hello guys uh, in this tutorial uh, we learn how to dynamic the body of the page body of the content so in our previous tutorial we already knew that the header section and the footer section already has been dynamic okay now we are going to dynamic the about us section and as well as the our services section so that each and everything has to be managed from the back end area so to dynamic this section we will use advanced custom grid plugin so let's go to back end so here is the back end you can see the custom field so the field is for home page right this field is for home page so we will create a field first okay uh, here you can create a field first called home page home page then you can uh, create a tab okay so this section is called about so you can create a tab called about section then field name and field type should be tab okay field type should be tab so what is the tab like this <clears throat> you have to choose the page called page is equal to home okay now publish once you publish this field you can see this field has been assigned for home page only okay so now go to home page backend here you can see this is the backend for home page let's refresh this page so once you refresh you can see there is a already uh, section has been created called about section right so this is a tab now we will create a field for this content so first of all this should be the heading and this is uh, looks like a subheading and this is a content and this is looks like a button so there should be four field okay heading subheading content and button okay so go to this section home page field uh, below the about section tab it's heading so the field name should be always unique like this heading about okay so this should be the text field always that's because it looks like a text so we will use a text okay so heading is done the so heading is done the next is subheading so let's again Get a field of subheading. Always remember field name should be unique. So here again we will type about so that it will uh, mention the field we are creating for about section, right? So subheading about again. So two fields has been created now. Now we have to create uh, another field called content so you you can see the content is lengthy right it's a long text so in so for the long text we will we will use different field called this uh, like the field level should be about content field name is fine and the field type should be always uh, basic editor whenever uh, whenever we see uh, the content is uh, longer than smaller so in that case we will use always this field basic editor okay so now one field is remaining called read more so in that case we will use uh, about about section button right I can see it looks like a button so this is button uh, the field type should be uh, there is a field type called link so whenever we dynamic any button we have to choose a uh, field type is link okay so now all are done so four fields heading subheading uh, about content and the about section button now update once you update 
go to home page back end again and refresh this so now now you can see a field has been created for about six right heading subheading about content and uh, about section button so now we'll uh, dynamic the content so this is the heading or about us copy this go to home page back and paste it over there so this is about us heading we are dynamic the content okay then subheading so this is our subheading just copy and paste it here okay now about content so this is our about content copy and go to home page back and and whenever paste uh, any content just click text mode and then paste okay so now we can see the content has been pasted uh, into the about content now the button so what is the button called read more okay so click on here and url as you as you don't have any about us page yet so in that case we will uh, use a has link in the url and the link text what is the link text link text called a read more so just type read more here okay so read more here so now add the link now you can see the our four field has been dynamic right heading subheading about content about section button now go to update so our backend is ready you can see the content has been managed from backend and our backend is ready to go okay uh, now you can see the page has been updated and the content is there about section headings are heading about content and about section button so this section has been dynamic from the backend now we have to um, go to our home.php file where we can do custom coding right, to manage this content so let's go to our themes that is our uh, themes okay uh, go to wordpress uh, the child that we have already created before now go to paste templates okay then home.pc file view and edit okay the file has been opened up right now you can see uh, the about section right this is our about section okay so now we are going to dynamic in this section first right so this is our title i mean heading this is our subheading this is our content and this is the button so these four thing has to be dynamic now so what should be the code here so go to backend again this is our backend sorry this is our backend so you can see uh, the field is for about us heading the field name is uh, about heading right heading about so just copy this copy and go to your, your php file uh, this is the php file so about us should be dynamic so here we need to do custom code so what should be the code in wordpress look like this php the field the field and we can copy this right for a heading just copy and paste it here and close the semicolon now that's it now this heading is dynamic right it's a dynamic it's a custom code so the similar way we can do same things for subheading so again go to subheading copy this and go to here h4 uh, in the h, uh, h attack same things we will do php the field this is the field paste it so here you can extra space we have to remove that 
so the heading and the subheading is dynamic with the custom code you can see now we have to do uh, content area this is our content so you can see the content has been wrapped uh, uh, through a p tag right and in this section we are using a wizig editor so whenever we use a wizig editor in that case we don't need a p tag here actually uh, it will automatically comes up um, using this so just copy this first and delete this section entirely and we can copy we can uh, do our code here so php the field okay and this is our field name pasted here paste and semicolon that's it here you can see uh, there was a p tag before and now we didn't add any p tag as because we are using a wizik editor so in that case we don't need to add p tag here it will comes up automatically as a default okay so three things are a heading and subheading and the content has been dynamic with the custom code okay okay let's uh, there is a one thing is remaining uh, it's a about section button yeah this button has to be dynamic now so in that case what should we do we are using our advanced custom field plugin uh, to manage the content so it's a link right it's an, the field type is called link so how we can dynamic this area and type acf link okay you can see the first link uh, advanced custom field so click on here Okay, you can see there is a fast basic display in the array using array field. Okay, you can see you can see about section. It's a link array, right? So we are using a link array, so we will use this code. Just copy this, copy, and you have to paste it over there. Okay, you can see. So we have to uh, manage the things uh, as per our class, as per, uh, um, as, per uh, as per target blank, whatever it is, each and everything. So you can see this is our code. This is our main code. Okay, this is our main default code. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do, the we have to uh, add our um, field name here. So what is the field name? So go to backend. You can see our field name is. Uh, about section button okay just copy this and go to your code and paste it over there okay so th this uh, this is everything is fine over uh, now we have to change the class name so this is our main class name just copy the classes copy okay and paste it over there so now each and everything is fine we can delete this uh, delete our uh, actual custom um, HTML so we just delete and now the button has been also dynamic so each and everything has been dynamic in the about section right so just save save it and update uh, upload in the server so now go to our backend you can see uh, the content has all uh, has been already uh, added so just refresh this page so go to the back end you can see the content has already uh, updated now go to your site and refresh this reload tab so once you reload tab you can see the content is already here now it's all the content has been dynamic and it's coming through the back end so suppose you are going to check the that section is dynamic and not you can change the text like this uh, like about us um, section heading you can check that section has been dynamic or not we just updated the content uh, for uh, heading area so the heading is called about our section heading so how we can check go to page 
fronted and just reload the tab again so once you reload the tab you can see the content is there about a section heading so now confirm that the section has been dynamic so like this way we are we can easily dynamic the page content okay so about our section has been dynamic right the about us has been dynamic so now there is another uh, thing is called uh, our service so whenever we think whenever we realize there should be a multiple pages multiple services services yeah uh, multiple things uh, in that case we will use custom um, custom post type right so custom post type is uh, little different uh, than a page dynamic so uh, we will use a custom post type so in our next tutorial we will show you thank you